you're free to play. Okay, hello everybody, I'm ZK, and this is the Mortal Gates of Pyrocast. On the top, for Team Ice, we're gonna have Admiral de Gao in the blue, and Malice as a Jari in the green. At the bottom, we're gonna have Offman in orange as a Jari, and Fatal Exit as Zol in the red. So Team Fire versus Team versus Team Ice. Both of them have one Croft and one one Aru. And so far, it seems like Team Ice is going for fast expand. Maybe fast expand on the other side. Uh, Fatal Exit not going for the fat quite as fast and expand. Okay, yeah, I might have just missed the timing. Wait, no. Yeah, okay, I might have just missed the timing slight. Okay, no, he's going for that makes sense. He went for a slightly faster alter, so getting the units out and trying to get that first power camp. Something you often want to do as the Immortal Zol, as when you're playing Zol, it's all about getting the Immortal level up, and you only get it, get it up by killing units. So getting those spider camps as soon as possible is a good way to level her up. On the other side, Malice had a Jari, doesn't have to. But getting power is always good, right? To gain that third resource as fast as possible is, is essential for winning those fights later on. And oh man, often going for a triple ex double expand from the get go. And yeah, this time he he is going to uh, to transform the tower core. It's like these ones. You can uh, transform them into these uh, these complete towers. And what's great about these towers is that they're also going to heal your units whenever they're in this blue circle. It's not any blue circle that does heal. It's only the one here. Uh, that's around the tower. Generally, this gives some other advantages. Some units, say, if you're playing, um, okay, there's no Orzum. Uh, if you're playing Orzum, for example, the so units will get range. If you're playing the Zephyrs and they wind step in, they'll get extra shields. So you gain some advantage from it. Uh, so yeah, pretty useful to have to have in general. And as a Jari, it will any blue field will heal your units. So you see those units are being healed just by walking in that zone. And Dugal just checking out his opponent to see what's going on here. He's about to be surprised as Fatal Exit heading for the first power camp. Really wants to get that power camp as soon as possible. But Offman really going for that crazy early start here, getting double expanding. Something to note, especially in this game with each expanding expansion costing 500 alloy, it's a lot of money. It's not easy to expand. Or at least it's very expensive. So you gotta be careful about expanding so quickly, so fast. It takes a long time as well for the economy get up. It's, uh... Ooh, Heaven's Aegis already going on the unit to make sure it survives. Uh, can get a few shots off and gets 500 extra shields. If he gets focus fired out, it won't do a thing. Gotta be careful though now. Uh, good thing on getting the tower, but you don't want to lose if you're free. All three of them. You're gonna lose one, that's for sure. Once the party for the power cap might be worth it. But yeah, he's running fast enough. Was running away fast enough now, but getting back. Sephora gives a little bit of speed boost to Dangerous. Try to get back into here. Yeah, you see, the, the unit's gonna start healing as soon as he's in there. That's something you want to do. Hit your units and back into the hollow ground, heal up, and before you're ready to jump into the next hit. But yeah, getting both of our camps to begin with, always a good start. Good job on Fatal Exit getting both of them. Even if this, this event gets taken out, he still stops his opponent from getting it early, which is also very good. Would we'll be careful here about jumping in, there's just too many units. Uh, time to regroup, take your third base, play super, super economically greedy. Like at this point, if Mal, if Dugal and Manus realized, they could just go for a, for a big kill, kill attack, like get three of these buildings. But instead of attacking up, you can get some really strong units out of the Soul Foundry. Uh, but if you really want to kill your opponent, it's probably better to stick on Legion Hall and just ram in it, ram them in. Jumping in here, yeah, getting that power camp and being forced to attack all the getting going on the map and getting that power, getting for the camp. Are you kidding me, Fatal Exit? Going for a fourth base? That's crazy. You don't, you're not supposed to do that. If he does get away with it, it's gonna be crazy. But I, there's no way he should be able to get away with that. That's way too much money. It's a thousand alloy. That's ten units, uh, twenty units for him actually that he could have built that he won't be able to build because of that. Okay, good. It's gonna get taken out. Let's, like there's one advantage. Like he might be able to get a few unit kills, but there's no way Manus lets this go up. A fourth base is way too crazy. Okay, I was looking to take his third base, but for now... Oh, he's able to save it. Evan Zay just saves the... Yeah, if the heal it's pretty strong. Yeah, but it might not be enough still. He thought he, thought he had enough units, but it's not quite enough. Icarus coming in here for Dugal. They're taking control of those pyro camps. It's great. They have so much power for to cast their immortal abilities. Uh, currently, it's 1-0 for uh, Dugal and Manus. 
So I'm going to assume, Santa, that you won your game two, games 2-0. Two we had a few uh, black screens, but nothing too worrisome so far. Yeah, uh, the guy really taking map control well. Wow. These guys just triple expanded. Triple expanded. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Santa. <laughs> Triple expanding here, uh, getting that tower up and running, that's going to be good for the defense. Icarus might be able to just go behind and get a few kills if they wanted. Need to oh, I love this. Love this from Offman. Great counter attack here. Completely missed it. Thanks to the offer pointing it out. And yeah, that's a lot of kills for only free Safari. Also forcing the opponents completely back. There's nothing on the map. If he wants, he's able to get into the base and take over the pirate camps again. The other side is trying to survive over here. Oh yeah, the complete surround here. That's perfect. It's a beautiful surround. From from Offman, exactly what you wanted. Okay. Well, I guess Manus gets what he's supposed to. He is supposed to take out this base. There's no way four base is supposed to be able to go out like this. At the same time, I like what what Offman is doing, just going for counter attacks across the map. This one, fortunately, has nothing defending him at home right now. He's trying to help his ally, uh, but this base is in dire straits. That tower is not enough to survive. It has a lot of HP, so it gives him time to head back and try to defend, but he's too busy helping his ally right now defend his fourth base, but he only has three. But that's besides the point. He needs to try and keep his third base alive. Zephyr's coming in, but too little too late to save the tower, but might be enough to save this save the base entirely. Absolver's coming in a bit. You need to siege up. You need to siege up quickly if they want to survive this. They're not sieging up at all. Uh, he's too busy taking micro in the other fight, and now he's here. Time to siege up. Once he sieges him up, this base is safe. As soon as they're sieged up, this base is going to be safe, but for now... Instead, a rain of blood comes down for Doug Gao. The ultimate ability, ra blood rains from above as they try to survive. Absolvers are still not sieged up. That's a big mistake. Also coming in with a Zol. Fado Exit trying to survive with Zol. And might just be enough. There's not enough units. There was only Doug Gao coming in for this attack. And his ally coming in in time. Fado Exit helping his ally survive this push. Manus is all alone. Manus has the time to attack the other base while the enemy is completely surrounded by this one. But Manus is not going for the, he's not going for the third base. He's going for the harder base. The base that's harder to defend, but the enemies are his enemies are out of position right now. He might be able to get it. Or his man is gonna try to destroy. He's going for the production villi, going for the sure kill. Instead of trying to kill everything. Instead of going for the more valuable target. No, he's attacking both at the same time. He's gonna get at least a production structure, and then he needs to run. The enemy is here. He doesn't have enough to survive this. The other side, Offman kept pushing. The absolvers are powerful. The absolvers are powerful. It's hard to break them. But one of the best units to break them is actually the Zakal. The Zakal does extra damage to them. And they have a decent amount of HP that can just jump on top and kill him. Focus Fire 1, Focus Fire 2, Good Heavens Aegis. But too little, just a little, not enough there to sort of save them. He needed a few more units than that. And with that, actually the supply is still pretty equal. Getting those early bases really helped the economy. While the guy was just now saturating his, his third base. And of course, during all of that, Offman was heading around the map and creating, adding, and just creating chaos wherever he could. Uh, Man is trying to survive here. That's so many calls, so many calls. Fatal is finally got his ult to level two. He's gonna be able to deny this base most likely. Man doesn't have that many units here. You can try and jump the unit, especially if you don't have too much to run right now. The Red Harvest comes down using. Yeah, that's Red Harvest. Yeah, really using all the spells though to try and just take care of that. That might have been the Gal's Red Harvest there to try and help out his ally. Oh, nice! Protection Circle coming in from, uh, from the Arc Mothers. Arc Mo the units are going to be so tough to kill right now with those abilities in. And Fatal Exit realizes this. He doesn't have to stay. Like, he had no reason to stay after this. It's crazy how much that guy helps me in just putting signals on the map of where I should be looking. I love him for that. Every single time looking somewhere else, he puts the signals like, you should be looking here. I'm like, oh yeah, I should be. More is coming down. He's coming in for the surround, but it's not that many units. They're trying to come in, but units from Offman is also coming in. It's about the same amount of units. Wardens can do damage from above. There's not that much anti air, honestly, from the other side. So it could be enough to kill them off, but I'm trying to jump in here. Jump in as that's a lot of wardens. That's a great play for Madness. Playing off like last game. Last game, that's how he won the game, right? He just came in with those frums. This time he's coming in with 
coming in with the warden and trying to do as much damage as he can, jumping on top of units. <laughs> it might not be enough. I mean, if there's a lot of army for orange right, for Team Fire right now, saying their opponent is always a dangerous proposition, but it seems that they have the numbers game here. They really definitely have the numbers game. The Absolver's in the back, dealing damage. Everything. Hornets might just be enough to keep it alive. Uh, but here finally come the Zephyrs. Often is doing it. They're keeping the enemies, they're routing their enemies and taking them down. It's gonna be enough. He's pushing forward. You just die everywhere. Okay, there's enough wardens that they can take care of the few amount of Zephyrs, but no, the Zephyr reinforcements are coming in. The base goes down from the Dodger, but back on two bases. Back on two bases, and yeah, that's a good that's a good play for Manus. Attacking where the enemy is not, trying to do his best. And in the back, Castigator's coming out. Okay, the Castigator's the true anti hero heroes here. As soon as they're in the ward, is going to have much more trouble doing damage. It seems like Team Ice is in a lot of trouble trying to survive this next push. As the Zephyrs come in, trying to defend it, and the base burns, explodes. The Corruptless explodes with the Fire of Angels. Trying to push in the choke is always going to be a bit harder. It might just be enough. The guy is spanning behind us. I love the double expansion from before. Of course, they, they got taken out. And they tried to survive from it. Trying to find another entrance to the base. That's a smart move. But they're getting chased down, so they can just attack here. Counter attack and try to do their damage. I still really love the, the Wardens. The Wardens are a great move. And especially with the base at the top. Try and attack into another choke point. There's two choke points to attack into. And the Gal is doing an admirable job uh, hitting from the back. Oh, those, uh, those guys are a bit stuck here. Oh wow, that's actually a perfect surround. The units were in a bad position. They're still going to be surrounded. But it, yeah, the team fire just has two units coming from the back. Actually a decent amount of, of units for Team, uh, team Fire right now. There's nothing really taking care of the Wardens. And Manus just keeps making more and more Wardens. He doesn't stop building those powerful units. Exactly. Admiral does an admirable job about killing all the units here. All the friends. Yes, yeah, so the other side, Manus is manning up here. Getting his units in, trying to kill as many units as he can. And uh, Fatal Exit trying to put a fatal wound on his opponent. Seems to be done with pun soon, or at least a uh, joke puns. Offman. Yeah, actually, it's really hard to put a pun with Offman with uh, Tibaba, the Otipaba. And here comes the units coming in, and once you get into the projection cycle, it's harder. Doug Gal trying to go for the base trade, but it's harder to win the base trade when your opponents are already there. Eric's coming in for Fatal Exit. He wants nothing to do with the Wardens anymore. Just building a suicide unit that can just kick everything. Man, it's had a valiant effort, but it might not be enough this time around. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. No, there's one more base for Manus. Once all the bases are done, it's not an automatic GG for the player. base goes down. Yeah, once all your production is down, that means you can't build anymore because the production are also supply. Or food, I forget what the term is. Oh wow, that's cute, man. Just trying to block him out from the exit. From the other side, yeah, there's not much going on here. Are they going to be able to defend this? Probably. The reinforcements are coming in fast enough that should be able to defend it. Mala coming in here with a red harvest. No. Brave Bull coming in, Brave Bull dying immediately. Yeah, okay, they know about this base, but honestly, there's not much else they can do at this point. There's just, uh. But 
Doug Gao has been known for his fancy GG timings. He does not believe in GGing before everything is over. Of course, we know. We know the truth. There's two bases left, but soon to be none at all. Ooh, but he does get an opponent's base. And, like, Fatal Exit is stuck on only two bases. He has 143 supply, but they're all on the other side. But he doesn't need to come back at this point. There's just not enough unit for, for Doug Gao, and all the bases are being taken by Offman to make sure he survives this. Zoe comes in, doesn't have enough HP, gets two shot, and final base taken out, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be GG. God damn it. It would have been GG if Doug Gao had not rebuilt right, Dale. Exactly, the Gao of the man actually just rebuilding as much as he can to kill as many bases. Like, and to be fair, he's not wrong, right? If he can get all the bases here, and if there was no other bases, he might be fine. But there is this base, there is the two bases on the bottom left. The Gao might actually make it if if he didn't know what his opponent had. First for him, uh, it's quite a bit left. Man has made a small final army. Gonna try and take out as many units as he can. They do not know what the opponents have. Taking out this base. Now the thing is, he also rebuilt on the other side. He's finally taking out the army. So if he takes out the army, that might actually be game for her. For Hoffman. Finally. Okay, they realize where it is. That's good. I mean, there's still units here. Okay, he has no more. He has no more income. And yeah, okay, the Earth world is not producing income anymore. So that's good. We're past that point. But the gal's still winning the fights here. Like, there's nothing to say as long as he's winning the fights. There's uh Wait, no, the gal might actually win this. Like, no. Well, okay, Offman is still mining over there, but this is the bigger army. Like, you need... Fatal X and Offman have to have to make their army into one. Because right now, the Gao is getting everywhere. There's no more bases being... Okay, there's still a base here. As long as he didn't build this base, Fatal Exit is still in the game. Building the final resource from his opponent, that's great. Like, there's there's a way that the Gao can make it. Uh, yeah, he found he, he got the Sentinels to finally see it. The Gao has two... Okay, three bases to kill. There's a lot of distance to cover. If they can just kill that one, Fatal Exit and Offman can just kill that one. That's a great... They can win it. Okay, he finally... Safari finally saw it. Safari saw it. But uh, workers are not that weak here. They can deal their dish damage. Okay, the guy is coming back. Okay, killing any units from his opponent is great. There's just not that many units. This is... Crazy. They're coming back into it. They're... I thought it was completely over, but the guy with the... Just attacking his opponent is showing what fancy GG timing. It's a reason for that. You win games from fancy GG timings. You come back from games where you thought all was lost. Often is mining off of half a base right now. He only has they have 60 supply together. That means they have to coordinate their attack. This is a powerful army, especially with the Dread Sister in the back. Part of this army here is it's Sentinels. Sentinels do not attack. The warden here is powerful. There's no oh no, he's losing a unit for nothing. You did for nothing, no. The base at the back is everything here. He's trying to send back units. Staying in the warden here is a smart move. Just to deal with any type of unit that could come coming forward. Okay, Doug Gao is ready to separate his army. He has no reason to attack the Grove Guardian. Attacking this base though, yes, that's a great move. The Gao might actually make it. Okay, gets his another kill there, gets all the units. Fatal Exit has almost nothing unless he has the base at the back. Where are the units? Where are all the army units? Is it the, all, the, all that's left is the air units? The Dread Sister attacking the Warden? Warden should... Okay, there's a few uh, Mass Hunters here. He roots it down. The Mass Hunters are doing some damage, but is it enough damage? Offman trying to do his best. He needs to run away. He can heal up, but he doesn't have any, tar he doesn't have any heart towers left. Okay, he has the Heaven's Ages here, that's great. But is it enough? He wants to kill the Dread Sister. Dread Sister is super powerful. Uh, Zephyr is coming in. He kills the Dread Sister, one of the most powerful units his opponents had. The Gao still has some economy running here. He still has 1400 alloy. He's still mining a bit. He's still able to do something. Uh, but he's being routed. He separated his army in two, which is, you know, how the other team could end up making it. Pulling the work is also a great move here, coming in from all angles. Okay, the whole army is here. He's building. He's gonna build a blood, a blood well to try and heal up his units. Okay, he's using Mala's ability to embiggen all his units. You want to embiggen units as much as possible. And at this point, this base is done. There's two bases left. 
I'm not sure they are aware of it. I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, you can see the hallowed ground, but probably not on the minimap directly. Okay, this fight is perfect for the gal. The gal has such a bigger army than his opponent here. Plato exit is all alone. His opponent has four sentinels. He brings out Zol. Zol is great at these fights, but is it enough? His and Jages comes down to use. Man is doing all he can to keep his ally in check, help him out with the heavens agent. But this might be the final, final fight of the game as you're coming in. There's not much anti-air left though. That. The warden all alone could be winning this game. Of course, Emerald Dugal does have some income. He can build. He can build some anti air now, and he needs to build some anti air. And yeah, okay, incubator instead. He's coming in, trying to get to the final base of it all. He's coming in for the final base, attacking in and jumping in. He believes this is the final base, so I think if he can beat this, he's gonna win the game. Oh, on the other side, Fado exit coming in. I don't know. I don't know if he remembers the brood anchors here. Brood anchors are really powerful for defending any type of location, especially against units like this. He's running away. Oh, second warden is coming out, and more zephyr. So wardens are the unit of choice for Offman. If he's able to get them, get enough out, he might be able to defend his base on the left. I still don't know who's going to win this. He gets the final base. The girl thought that was it, but no, there's still more units coming in. There's two more zephyrs. They're getting them on the rally out. The girl needs to reinforce with whatever. Anti-air. Okay, Underspine is pretty decent. Incubator's not quite it for anti-air. Oh, there we go. He's going for the last fast base. Fado exit. These are the last two bases. If he's able to get them with... God. Just take two hours to only run on your own route way. This is your opponent's route way, so it won't work. Bam. This base is going to go down. But there's two bases left. Doug Gal is going to the final base. Doug Gal is going to do it. Doug Gal is getting to the final base. He... He didn't fan CGG for a reason. He's going to take out the game. He's going to be able to win this series 2 to nothing. Thanks to his prowess of taking out the game. This is GG. Ice wins 2-0 here. Wow. What a game. Shenanigans. This was... Felt like the game was over. Doug Gout found a way out. And, uh, yeah, counter-attack for the win.